<laughs> Andrew was making me laugh because he was doing like this you know, maybe, like to my intro. <laughs> Everyone, Hello. I am Kelsey, and Hello. this is oh, other way. This is Andrew. Hello, Hello. <laughs> and we are the unhinged gang. Well, two out of the unhinged gang, as I like to call some of my peeps and myself. But welcome, welcome. If it's your first time here, thank you for checking out this sprint. If it's your second, third, fourth, time. fifth, whatever, seventy fifth, thank you for coming back and not unsubscribing because I am insane. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh but happy friday i'm so excited it's friday Ooh. guys we're celebrating old school april which is my readathon and watchathon event if you don't know about it there's still time to join if you want it's never too late the info is never. 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 we got a special guest over here hello hello Hi. it is yes. kelly from it kelly Home what's up by the way, Kelly is linked below, as is Andrew, so please subscribe. They are co-hosts! <laughs> I don't know why I laughed at me saying co-host weird. It was, I was like, co-host! Co What's everybody up to today? Kelly, what are you up to? Um, just hanging out at home. My husband's out of town, so I'm here with the kids by myself, so I might pop in and out. Cool. Uh, that makes sense. Just hanging out. It's a home alone situation. Uh, I'm eating <laughs> junk and watching rubbish. You better come <laughs> out and stop me. Nobody can stop you. <laughs> well, I have to stop me, but yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, we won't tell anybody if you're eating junk and watching rubbish. We'll keep it a secret. Thank you so much. Is the, can you guys hear the TV? A yeah, little. yeah, a little bit, but it's fine. I'm just imagining it's like breaking news, sprints are on now. It's breaking news, there is a sprint going on right now. It's Four probably gonna be on hands. What are you reading? Are you reading anything, Kelly? Um, nothing worth chatting about. <laughs> what have you DNF lately? Um, Nothing lately, but I finished um, Prom Date, that point, it was a point horror book, uh, a couple days ago. I'm reading a Bridgerton book. Oh, oh that's kind of fun, though. It's old-timey, you know, old oh, people's. I did finish that, like um, the yeah. First Date Prophecy. Oh, That was yeah. the last one I finished. You did give that a four, didn't you? I did. I thought it was a little bit longer than necessary, but it was fun. I mean, I also agree that it was a tad, like, a little bit could have been cut down in the middle section, but mm -hmm. I still had such a great time, I still gave it a five star, because it was so, I don't know, it brought me up, like, it just felt easy to read, and it was fun, you know? Woo! So, Andrew, what are you reading today? Whoa! 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 What are you doing? Whoa! Uh, sorry. <laughs> what if I just kept saying, whoa! What if that's what you did? Like, every question I asked, you're just like, whoa! 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 Uh, so, I was listening to an audiobook, um, the ARC, the Doctor Strange thing that I started oh, yes. yesterday. But then, halfway through my walk, my headphones died. And I was like... I must listen to the real world. What is happening? Cars going by making noises in there. And birds. Well, maybe. I don't know if they're birds. I, I, the first time it happened was, there's no fucking birds. Absolutely no Oh, birds. yeah. From that movie, there's no birds. <laughs> I, I found out my new phone does not have a headphone jack. I know. Because you have the same phone as me, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was we, like, we don't have a headphone I was yet. like, excuse the f*** out of me. What do you mean you don't have a headphone jack? And I was like, all right, I guess I'll just listen to the real world. I only had to listen to it for like like a, a 15 minutes. But then uh, I went for like uh, a walk. When I got home, I put on like a cheesy movie that wasn't even on uh, freaking Letterboxd. It was like this. It was like this making of Power Rangers, like of the Japanese side show Ooh. that like showcased a lot of the like crazy monsters that were just going rawr, shmeep, shmeep, shmeep. But like Loomis would not stop me. I went throughout the entire thing. It was just driving me nuts. Loomis. <sighs> he for some reason, if I watch something in here, he's fine with it because he'll like sit down, like where because obviously got the book cart. Right? He'll just sit on out a book cart and hang out. Because that's what he's doing the full time we're watching an American movie. But if it's out there, 
for some reason, he like goes by the door and says, meow, 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 meow. And I'm like, shut up. <laughs> and he's like, hey. I'm like, do you want up? Here, go up. And then I put him up and then I go back to the movie. He's like, meow, 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 meow. I'm like, oh, you want down? <laughs> okay, you're down now. What do you want in life? What do you want in life? <laughs> and the movie was only an hour long and I was going to do what I'm saying. You were like, I can't even enjoy an hour of no, TV, please. Loomis. What are you no, doing? No, please. No, please. Uh, and then when I, when I streamed American movie, it was totally fine. We were just hanging out. So like, I don't know. If I need to maybe just bring this book cart out beside me when I watch Maybe he'd movies. like that. <laughs> I guess maybe I'll try that. Because he's good when I'm doing it anywhere else. But for some reason, it's just like the actual place where there's a TV. You can't drink my hot Chucky. No hot Chucky for you. No, no he can have a little sip. Come on. No, just, no he can't. No. Cats don't I know. Cats can't have chocolate. No. Yeah, can't have chocolates. And then I yeah. started yesterday reading this, The Night Flyers. Oh, it's supposed to be like a vampires in space book. Wow. And it's like, it's not long and it has like all these pretty pictures in it. It's got like pretty pictures. Someone drew some Ooh. pretty pictures in it. And it's I by like. George R. R. Martin. It's from the 80s. So it's like 1980s. And apparently it's like vampires in space. But so far as I have, there's no vampires yet. They're just mostly hanging out in space. But I'm like, this is kind of interesting. Something weird's happening in it. But what did I say about the hot chucky? Not for you. Kelly, are you drinking out of an Aladdin cup? I somehow yes. <laughs> so, do you guys remember the? I don't know if it was McDonald's or oh, it was Burger King. Yeah, so my, cool. My mother-in-law collected like four or five of them, and they were all in boxes forever until like five years ago. We were like, "Screw it, let's use them." So, I mean, they're somewhere on it, but that's so cool. I yeah. love that. Yeah, I think I think we have Jungle Book, Peter Pan, and Beauty and the Beast. Maybe one other one, but you ain't never had a glass yes. like me. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> you ain't never had a glass like me. I like that. Well, I noticed it right away. I was like, oh, I see she's got a special glass. It's thematic. And what's nice yes. about it, it being a '90s glass is no one can. It's they they stop using lead paint, so you don't have to be like, be careful when you drink out of it. Because as soon as it's like '80s, it's like '80s and before, it's like. That guy's gonna kill you. He gonna kill you. But like, it's obviously only if you're like licking it. So it's like it's not like the the glass <laughs> or the out like the paint. It, but it's just like you have to be careful because there's like oh yeah on yeah the outside. But it's not gonna do anything unless you want to. <laughs> but I think the '90s ones are safe. Yeah, the '90s ones are fine. But yeah, my father-in-law has like twenty-five of the the super old Looney Tunes ones Ooh. that uh, I think McDonald's used to make. They're probably worth a lot of money. He's saving them for us. I don't know where the hell we're gonna put them, but that's we're cute. not gonna use them. <laughs> no, don't don't use them, Kelly. That's dangerous for sure. I agree. Living on the edge. I'm drinking out of Pugs Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> and then you start like talking like crazy, like Bugs Bunny or Daffy Duck because of the lead in, in the thing. You just start losing that it. Suck it. That's how he got his voice. Bugs Bunny is from like, the cops. Yes, exactly. Hi, Alicia. Yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Hi, Lauren. TGIF. Oh, I'm doing hell laundry. yeah. I'm watching Tarantula. Tarantula rocks, dude. I don't know if you like Tarantula. It's not a good monster movie. But I like it. It's, <laughs> but it's it rocks. It does rock. It rocks. <laughs> like, I don't know if, like, I don't know if it'll rock for Lauren. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like Lauren has a bit higher standards than this trash monkey. Um, uh, because, when I, because it's fun. That's the first appearance of Clint Eastwood in a movie. He plays one of the fighter jets. who's like, we gotta take down this tarantula. And apparently he talks like that. But like, does he talk at all in that? No, no. I, or I, I, no. He just like flies in and it's like briefly him and the thing like Whoa. and you're like, whoa, that's Clint Eastwood, whoa. And then like the the you know, the, the tarantula's been tarantula. Well, hopefully <laughs> Lauren enjoys tarantula. We we'll see. She'll let us know. Let us know, Lauren. Let Hi. Know. How is your day going? How is everybody's Friday? What is everyone up to? Let me know. Vanessa! Happy Friday! Woo! Stacy! 
Hi, still reading Flowers in the Attic, and oh boy, it's really something. Are you still liking it? I know you were liking it the other day. Hello, Helco, Melissa, Mindy, Venus. By the way, some of my co-hosts are here. Besides just Andrew and Kelly, we also have Venus here in the chat. Please subscribe to her as well as Cameron. Cameron! Happy Friday, my peeps. Cameroon. No, I'm still calling Cameroon. Like COVID. here, we have our our resident jester. Hello, Aaron. <laughs> cool, cool. Hello, Melissa. Hi, Amanda. Watching Jumanji. It's so good. It's so Shop good. Jumping a jump. I love Jumanji. I could hear the freaking drums of the game in my ears as soon as you said Jumanji. I was like, uh-oh, the game's coming for me. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a rhino just smashes through your back wall. It's like, yeah. yeah. I'd be like, ah, hi, dot, 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 read my first Goosebumps book this afternoon, or read, not read, read my first Goosebumps books blah, this afternoon, the flubs are already starting, welcome to Dead House, wish they had been around when I was a kid, that one's a fun one, that's my favorite Goosebumps, I gotta say, hi Stephanie, oh. chomp, 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 me too, that's my favorite one, it's good, it's real good. Just got home from the grocery store where I got lots of old school snacks. Ooh. Tell us about your snacks, please. Hi, just got back from seeing Civil War and now having a quick read of Revenge of the Law Gnomes before bed. A goosebump before bed. That's a lot of fun. Ooh, ooh, goosey, goosey, mumpa bumps. Goosey, goosey. <laughs> Happy Friday. Plan to read a short story from... It came from the multiplex. I have that short story collection. Then returning to Babysitter Blood Black. Blood Black. Blood Black. <laughs> blood Black. Blood Black. I'm turning into Daffy and Bugs. <laughs> Babysitter Blood Bath by Regina Watts. I have that book. About 33% into it and enjoying it so far. I've read it came from the multiplex. I you read the whole you. thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't tell you a single story. <laughs> yeah, I read one story from it. I have it on my Kindle. I I'd, I'd, have, to, I I'd have to genuinely look because I might remember some of them, but um, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't think it was my favorite short story collection, but there were some really good ones, though. Venus is reading one of her host recs, uh, My Sweet Audrina Ooh. by V.C. Andrews. Just made some chocolate mousse pudding for tonight and finished up the Phantom of the Opera graphic novel. Cool. What did you do to mousse? No, you can't turn mousse into chocolate mousse. <laughs> mousse. P.S. Andrew's one of his cats is mousse. So that's who he's talking about. Not your actual chocolate mousse. Still reading Body Roses. Roses rides. <laughs> I love <laughs> trying to correct it and then not being able to. Uh, I also actually started Body Rides last night because I needed something to read on my Kindle. But I didn't get very far. Yay, so glad it's Friday. Completely exhausted. Can't wait to hang and take it easy. I'm hoping to finish my Nancy Drew Files book tonight and maybe start a Sweet Valley High book. That's awesome, Cameron. I am reading Dead 11. I don't have the thing on, but Dead 11. <coughs> How many 11s? Only one and they're dead. They're dead. Kind of want to do some more on my nostalgic diamond painting, so I may finish She is a Haunting audiobook tonight. I also want to make more pro progress in the Blood Mirror tonight. Good luck, Mindy. Good Going luck. to read a few comics in The Man Thing, Volume 1. Yeah, I haven't had too much time to read. I love how in uh, one of the comics for Man Thing is literally called Giant Size Man Thing, and it always makes me chuckle. Um. <laughs> hey everyone, excited to be here for Sprints Reading the Couple Next Door by Sherry Lapina. Gotta finish Crown of Swords tonight before my audio returns to the library. Relatable. Finishing 10 hour audio in three. My mama believes in me that I can do anything, even defy the laws of logic and physics. I believe in you. Hannah's welcoming Cameron. I'm glad it's Friday. She agrees. Hey, Buttes, how is it going? Been chilling, listening to Lamb, and saw the notification. So ready for some good reading. TGIF, Robbie. Baby. Liked Frankenhooker, so don't think so highly of me and my taste, Andrew. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Kelly, Kelly. <laughs> We're not going to get into the Frankenhooker takes again for like the 50th time. <laughs> I just mean you might find it you might find it boring. It's like one of those fifties movies that you either kind of like you, slow. You, you can either get into it or you kind of find it boring. And it's yeah, of, it's tough to it's tough to gauge. 
the amount people can do bullshit. People going through the desert being like, I like this desert. It's cool. And it's like other people be like, this desert sucks, bitch. I'm so happy to see you. Been reading and being oh, antisocial. Still working on Helter Skelter. I'm glad that you're here. I'm so happy to see you. Thank I hope you. you're enjoying Helter Skelter. Yeah, so be skeltering and heltering. Are you working on a diamond painting right now? Hi, been in a reading slump for the last few days, trying to get back into it this weekend. I hope you break out of your slump. Well, turn it into a reading rump. <laughs> Punch <laughs> that slump, make it into a rump. Howdy, just dropped by to say howdy, but I shall return. Probably going to watch season two of Loki. Does that count as modern adaptation? Yes, because yes. comic books are very old school. They're old. Yes, it's definitely an adaptation. Old. Hello. Old hello. Hello, hello. Still reading my Goosebumps if, books. For, for if you're ever wondering if something counts, if you have a reason why you think it counts, it counts. Yes, I say when in doubt, count it. And as long as you don't think... You know, if someone else were to count it and you wouldn't be mad about it, I say count it. We have no way of checking either. Well, we kind of do, but kind of, but not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> not oh really. wow, Kelly, that what a what a uh, upstanding citizen thing to say. She's Some just like, yo, cheat. Crimes. He's like, yeah. If you're on purple parrots, cheat. That's what she's saying. Kelly's like, I read both versions of the Bible and wrote a new one. Wow. <laughs> That's right. No, but Kelly is right. And I usually tell people that things can count. I'm pretty laid back about that. So I don't want anyone to stress. It's all about fun. It's not about like getting lost in the nitty gritty of what counts, what doesn't count. We're all about having a good time. It's Friday after all. But it's even Friday, if it wasn't Friday, Friday, we're all about having a good time. Even if it's Monday or Yeah, Tuesday. Monday freaking sucks. But even if it was Monday, we'd be like, yes, let's have a good time. Yes, yeah, Monday, Tuesday. American Horror Stories. Awesome. Hi, Amy. Another one of our co-hosts. Please hello, subscribe hello. to her as well. Hello, Amy. Hello. I wish I didn't have to work so I could read all weekend. Oh, no. I'm going to have a busy weekend. My friend Kat, who's also a co-host, is coming over tomorrow, and we will be having a whole day. Oh, of, of yeah. Fun. But uh, I should probably clean up the house tonight, and I've been procrastinating, and I don't feel like cleaning. I don't feel like Kat. cleaning. If she was here, she'd say, don't worry about cleaning, but I'd be like, I'm not having you come in my house as a wreck. Come on. Why? One of your activities could be like, hey, Kat, clean my house. No! I would never. <laughs> <laughs> She's bringing cookies of all kinds of flavors, and we're taste yeah. testing them. I ain't gonna make her so clean. You have something She's bringing to eat the while she cleans the house. You know, you're just like. Also, she's the only person I know who is excited to go to Piccadilly's with me. And if nobody knows what that is, it's a southern chain of like cafeteria style food. So like you get in a line, you have a tray. You're like, oh, can I get some roast beef? Can I get some carrot souffle? And it's one of my favorite places ever. Oh, yeah. I used to go with my grandma who I called Mo Mama. That's like my Cajun word for grandma. Anyway. No one ever wants to go with me. I had to beg my family and Paul to go for my birthday. And we were like the youngest people there. Anyway, now me and Kat are going to go. And I'm so excited. Yeah. Ooh. And she's actually excited about it. Pick them dillies. Um, I'm so excited. Pick them dillies. Yes, bitch. Yes. That's actually the perfect thing. When she comes to my door with a pillowcase, I said, mm, get that pillow out of here. Pick them dillies. <laughs> Just ignore it, everyone. Everyone's, like, lost. Like, what does she mean? What is she talking about? What? Just forget it. When I return, I'm going to read Dragon Ball Z, Fantastic Four, and Confessions of a Shopaholic. Watch a lot of books. Pink Panther or The Matrix tomorrow? Pink Panther's a classic. But are you going to watch the cartoon or the live-action version with your boy, Steve Martin? Oh, I thought you were going to say Peter Sellers, because I'm like, Peter Sellers, he's that Oh, well, that boy. too. Oh, my God. That's a really old school version. Duh. That's a classic classic. My dad likes the Peter Sellers version, of course. There's this great moment of like, does your dog bite? And he's like, no. And then he like, got, someone goes to pet it, and the dog like bites him. And he's like, I thought you said your dog didn't bite. That's not my dog. <laughs> 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 that is the stupidest joke. That is stupid, but kind of awesome. <laughs> TGIF, I should watch some of those shows too. Yes, the TGIF block, Boy Meets World. You can't go wrong with a Boy Meets World episode on Friday. 
I just posted my pair for Six Sad April with my diamond painting of my oh, parrot. Crap. I can't wait to look. Oh, that's so cute. I don't know what to post. Maybe I'll just take a picture of this right there. There's a pair of cats. Well, that's a pair of cats. You're right. <laughs> a pair I, of black cats. Well, you know what cats. you could easily do? You have, this is what I did. I took a picture of a novelization next to a movie. You could do that that's too. Fair. That's fair. Maybe I, I could free put, willy put, and them, free willy. put them on the cats. Be like, here's the black cats and here's... A yeah, like right in front of the cats. Yes. Okay. Or Ring. on them, I guess. Ring. Put on a little hat. Ooh. Two types of egos: S'mores, Pop-Tarts, and a multi-pack of cereal with tricks and lucky charms. I just Pop realized I forgot the toaster kids. strudel. That's amazing. The snackage is out of control and amazing. Damn. What about the kids? I thought tricks was just for kids, though. Never! Tricks are for everyone. Oh, someone should tell that rabbit. That rabbit, uh, I feel so bad for that rabbit. Like, just give him some tricks. Like, these people <laughs> are always so mean to him. Like, leave him alone. Let him have his cereal. Let He's the, the freaking mascot. Live. Why can't he have a bite? Let the rabbit live. I was always mad at that as a kid. I really was. I was very upset. Kyo, kyo, kyo. There are very strict guidelines. The evaluation process of show and book prompts is quite rigorous. I I don't I don't want anyone to think that. Kyo, kyo. Lunchables. Did you get cracker lunchables? Did you get pizza lunchables? What'd you get? Uh, I am very partial to the pizza ones. Having guests over is the only way I can motivate myself to deep clean my home. I feel like I just dusted like two weeks ago, but it still could use a dusting. dusting but I definitely is the need worst. it is the worst. Sucks. It just never and stops. I still need to vacuum again, even though I just did two weeks ago or less. I don't even know. But anyway, I also need the thing I need to do most is straighten because the, the living room's kind of messy right now. So uh, that's what I have to do. I have to vacuum so often. <laughs> I can't. I know you must so have much. to vacuum all the time. I do like every day. I gotta vacuum. I mean, I vacuum a lot because we have the door open to the back door right. open a lot. And so all this dust. I miss those types of cafes. I guess it's like that. I've actually never heard of that place. Lubies or the lubbies? Lubbies or lubies? Yeah. Is it lubies or lubbies? I think it's a Texas thing because I definitely don't know about that. Oh, the live action one with Steve Martin, so I guessed right. My You're parent... a mind reader. You're psychic. Ooh. See, here's a good one too. A uh, physical copy in the audiobook. The only way I can oh. read these days. Same. <laughs> Uh, well, not t I've been actually doing really good with, like, small physical reads this month. Like, you know, this size type of thing. Wow. So, I like it. I might be reading this today. We'll see. I don't know what I want to do. If I want to do some audio book, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Kyo, kyo. What will the Kelsey do? Yes, two cheese pizza lunchables, the best kind. Mm, I want cheese and I want pizza. By the way, for our first sprint, I'm really excited about this. So, uh, shout out to the person who shared this. Let me look. Hannah Ray. Shout out to Hannah Ray for uh, sharing this awesome ambiance video that i'm going to use it's 1980s game room ambiance rainy night 80s nostalgia ambiance with like a vhs player wow um, i'm very excited about this so we're gonna do an hour if that's okay with everybody andrew kelly you good cool hi we're just about to sprint but have no fear there will be thematic sprints because i can't wait to show you guys this Hold on. Let me share it. And also, don't worry. We're oh, going to have a little banner. A, keep that super face going. We're going to have a little banner up, and it's going to say sprint until like 28 of the next hour. All right. Sprint until the 28th. I'll see you guys on April 28th. No, dot 28. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> hey, hey, Ooh, got to snag a beer. Hell yeah, Jasmine. It's Friday. Got a snag a beer. AKA Fry. Fry. All right. Once you guys see this, it'll be cool. I'm going to put it full screen. I mean, it's already looking pretty cool to me. Isn't it? Look at the thing. Is that new for... Coke? I think that was new Coke there. Oh, no. Those are old Cokes. All right, guys. See you in an hour from now. Goodbye. Thank you for sharing it, Hannah, by the way.
Do, 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 do. Time to stop reading or doing whatevs. Doing whatevs. I try not to scare people. You scared me. I know you jumped. I saw you. <laughs> You're like, hmm? I hope I didn't scare anyone else. It's better than just being like, oh, hello. <laughs> I don't know. I would have liked that. Oh, hello. I think people would have been more scared. That's true. It's true. What did scary you do? Scary is as scary does. Kelly, what'd you do? Um, I swapped and picked up and I started a, uh, give me a kiss by Ooh. Christopher Blake. I got like two pages in, so not much progress at all. Oh, look. Oh. Hey. Yeah, this is Lucy. Oh, it's Lucy. Shit. Lucy. I, I got the cat names wrong. Oh. Henry's the boy Lucy. kitty. Lucy yeah. only likes my daughter, and that's really it. Wow. I, uh, I wish I had a kitty that <laughs> loved me. Moose but I have, a, you. I have a pup. Moose is sending you her love. Moose! Aw. Oh, Jama brought Lucy back to show her off. Yay! Oh, oh yeah, she really does like her so much more. That's yes. so funny. You can tell. <laughs> That is that's, funny. That is funny. That's cute, though. She'll she'll fall asleep on her lap and just purr, purr, purr. But anybody else, she wants nothing to do with it. Yeah. Wow. It's weird how cats, like, prefer some people just because. You don't even it's know. It's so weird. That's why I'm never going to let another person be around. in my apartment. I don't want to know. I don't want to <laughs> know. You don't want them to, like... Yeah, what if like someone like, like, like yeah, what if I get like a yes, roommate drama. and it's like, yo, Lewis is like, this is my favorite now, F you. Oh, I'll let her. Oh. You let her go. You wanna go? No? No? What do would you do, Andrew? Okay. okay. I read a little bit more of Night Flyers. Is it I, it's not there's no vampire. I was not yet. To. How many pages in and no vampire? No, no, no. I'm a, I'm I'm a hundred. I'm a hundred pages in. About there ain't no vampire. Um, it's not happening. It's a different story. There's some kind of a killer going on. Some oh. dude just got his head exploded. It's like a, a. It's one of those. It's like a little bit too sci-fi for me. Like the way that it's written is like you're like, all right, I get it. You grew up reading sci-fi. Like come on now. And it's like everyone's got dumb names. And there's like certain dumb names that I'm like good dumb names. It's really you gotta like figure out um wh where the the level of dumb names is because i don't know what it is because like if i read a warhammer book and the dumb names i like it i like the dumb names they're fun but if i'm reading this people are named like uh what's one of their names daniel roid terrible <laughs> names um melantha melantha that's a weird name for Man sure M melantha jehurl is one of the names. Jehurl? What the hell? Jehurl. Some dude's named Thane. And you're like, okay. I don't like Thane. Thane is okay. There's another dude called DeBrannon. And I'm like, I don't like the duh. If it was just Brannon, I'd be fine. DeBrannon? De no, thank you. Um, <laughs> de no. <laughs> the artwork is good. Uh, but like the dialogue is pretty bad. Look at some. Oh, there's a child there. Anyways, a head exploded. Um, and there was a picture of it, and I didn't show. Um, but it was like, whoa, whoa. Because like, it's like they're going to this thing. They're like, there's a group of people. They're on this spaceship going to meet aliens. And these aliens are apparently very slow effing aliens. They just mm -hmm. are very slow. They just go, meow, 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 meow. And they've been traveling the world for like millions and billions of years, uh, like the galaxy. And they just are on these one ships and they just go super slow. And like everyone's like, whoa, imagine their history. We gotta find him. And like the only ship they can get is this weird ship where this guy doesn't leave, like the captain of the ship doesn't leave his little quarters. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, he's an alien, right? He's an alien. And he only talks to them like through like, I'm sorry, vampire. I'm so many he's a vampire. But like he only talked to them through like a hologram. And like there's a psychic guy who's like, there's danger. Some weird stuff is going on. And like they're like, well, what, we'll just give this guy some drugs that makes his brain super work. And he's got superpowers now. And like the guy who like runs the ship is like the ghost hologram. is like, no, don't do weird. it. Don't do it. And they're like, whatever, dude, you're trying to hide something. And then he's like, no, here's my life story. And it's a weird, weird life story. But then he like, you know, they're like, what is, we're going to find out if it's true or not. 
bam, give him the drugs, and all of a sudden, <laughs> head is broken. So this seems like a very different story than what you anticipated. Yeah, I thought it was a vampires. I thought we were going, they would be like, they would go to the alien ship, and the aliens would be vampires. And be like, I did Whoa. think it was weird if it was going to be vampires, because he did write a vampire book, but it wasn't that one. It no, was, and um, that one is good. Uh, Fever Dream is Yeah, I found good. a copy of it like in a he, used bookstore, so I was oh. like, he wrote two vampire novels? That's very specific. So no, I was surprised when you said it's, it's a vampire novel, and I'm like, it makes sense that it's not. It's just a so-so uh, sci-fi <laughs> horror novel. Well, maybe it'll get better. Maybe it'll end crazy or something. It's, it doesn't. It's not terrible. Like I'm not gonna DNF it. I'm enjoy. I'm enjoying it enough. But it's like so far, it's like kind of one of those three stars. Yeah, I understand. I was. Uh, what I did was read or listen as I diamond painted. I listened to the Cursed Among Us, and it is how many hours left? An hour oh. and twenty six minutes left. Oh, and here is my diamond painting that I'm working on. Oh, it's beautiful. I only have the bottom part done. Like this much but still i'm really having fun it's lisa frank style thank you lauren by the way lauren gave this to me Ooh. i can't remember if it was for christmas or my birthday but thank you lauren let's see oh this is fun this makes me excited i'm reading night shoot i'm guessing by david sodagrin oh that book's fun that i book's love fun. i love that book that book's neat. Nice. i love i love the end of that book i should say the ending oh. is my favorite of that it's book. I, it is, but is it either because you get to choose the ending, kind of, kind like, it's of, like, a, like you get to choose the ending. Don't, <gasps> don't. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's up to interpretation, is what I'm saying. Yes. And burritos I interpret sound it good. happily. It's mine. Burritos sound good right now, Cameron, because your boy Cameron was eating burritos. <laughs> And for, some, for some reason, I was like, ambiance looks sick. It was like, Bleh! like a kid just like was like, oh, I ate too many chips. Like, oh, no, sick. <laughs> like that kind of sick. Yeah, but no. Yeah, I really like that ambiance. I'm excited that someone shared it. Hannah shared it in the chat. Uh, I listened to some 2000s throwbacks while running errands. That combined with beating the beast this morning have made for a great nostalgic day. I'm so glad, Sarah. Yeah, I just at the last minute showed beating the beast this morning on the Discord. And By we the way, like, we're like, come on, look at how ugly he is as a human. Sunday morning. Well, actually, we did talk about that, Andrew. We were of like, course. oh, Beast is greater than man. But uh, <laughs> Sunday, I'm playing Dennis the Menace with Walter Matthau. And, well, I don't know who else is in it. But Walter Matthau is in it. And that cute lady from that movie with Steve Martin. Anyway, the, the little <laughs> white. a lot of movies with Steve Martin, guessing. <laughs> Bring it down the house or something, or bring in, bring it down the house. Anyway, it's a cute, it's a cute little lady, old lady. Yes, it's bringing down the house. Yes, I love that movie. That movie's great. I don't think I've seen that movie. It's with Queen Latifah. It's so good. Oh, uh, okay. I know that movie, but I have not seen it. But yeah, there's this like old lady in it, and she kind of is like a rich old lady, and she's kind of uppity or whatever. That's also the wife of Mr. Wilson in Dennis the Menace. And she's so sweet in Dennis the Menace. I love her. Aww. Anyway, I, I've been spinning a wheel to choose what I will show on my watch parties. So today the wheel chose Beauty and the Beast and I spun it again for Sunday and it chose Dennis the Menace. So Mwah, uh, the wheel! The wheel! The wheel of doom. Well, it's really the wheel of entertainment. It's not doom, but what else? Satan take the wheel. Take it from my <laughs> Love the ambiance. Made popcorn and grabbed some Sour Patch Kids. Oh, I love Sour Patch Ooh. Kids. Green and red are my favorite ones. Looking for songs to add to my nostalgia playlist. So I searched for songs turning 20. Gasolina is on the on the list, and I'm officially offended. Do -do Gasolina. That's the only lyric I know. Gasolina. I actually didn't even know how to pronounce that, so I'm so sorry. I you, Don't be offended that I didn't know it. I'm reading Night Shoot. Oh, yeah, I already read that one. But uh, I'm so excited. I hope you love it. Ooh, I'm being it, so cozy. Was there supposed to be music there? I couldn't hear any music. Oh, no. it's, it's, I'm glad there's not music. It's just like kind of rain and... Which is, which is fine. I, was, noise. I just wanted to make sure because like, I couldn't hear anything really. In fun. fact... Uh, Crystal had shared some great ambiance and cool videos like this too on the Discord. However, every single one had like nostalgic music. And I even tried to search for like retro themed oh, stuff. There's Henry's Tale. 
I knew he's here. But I couldn't find any without music. So, so thankful to Hannah for sharing this because I like that it doesn't have music. Yeah, that's awesome. Yes, Autumn Cozy is the channel who does this ambiance, and they do a lot of great, like, Halloween-y and seasonal ambiances. Yeah, their Halloween ones are great. I agree, Hannah. Good night. I'm sure you're gone, but good night. Good night. Hello. You're good. We actually got to a sprint pretty, like, reasonably timed, we, so. We did. I was, like, killing it. I was like, oh. She's like, oh, under 40 minutes. <laughs> Which, <laughs> this doesn't even look like a freaking flex. It's like, <laughs> It looks weird. You could be like this, and you're like, I'm a snake. Kind of looks like I'm a wounded butterfly or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, nobody would have thought a wounded butterfly. I think they would. <laughs> Katrina, I, oh, I miss you. Katrina. Katrina's been working hard for the money, like the song. Hard for the money. <laughs> like the song. You know, <laughs> uh, at my second job and I'm dying, but I'm reading the October Society. I hope you're liking that. I have it, but I have not read it yet. We will send you power. Hope and dreams and positive feelings, Katrina. And moosey, moosey, moosey. And moose. Just walked in. I'm loving this nostalgic backdrop. It's exactly where I want to be. Did some laundry and other cleaning. Read 20 pages. You and Kelly sweeping, cleaning. I'm freaking over here uh, doing nothing. <laughs> like, I should be cleaning for cat coming over tomorrow. <sighs> Ooh. 30% into body rides and eight snacks. How many bodies have been ridden? Hopefully a lot. I mean, not in that kind of way. <laughs> you know, like in a magical sense, like jumping into... Wait, the what? I'm mad? Like you're surfing on a body? Like, whoa. No, I think it has something to do with like a soul hopping around in different bodies. Oh, it's one of those. Yes. Ooh, only 15 minutes left in Tarantula. Join it, but it's no them. A family fave growing up. I was giving my desk area an OSA makeover. That's so fun. Oh, by the way, Lauren... Uh, be nope. kind, rewind earrings today. Nothing is them, though. Them is, like, the best. It's like, them, them. It's like a little girl. It's like, them, them. them. I've like not awesome, seen like, them in ages. Giant. Nothing, nothing, not a, nothing quite goes. Wow, read them. two books. Got a nice walk-in during the sprint. Awesome. Reread Game of Thrones. Read 56 pages of Vampire Breath. Now that one definitely has vampires. You know, it does. It I'm does. Sure. And no. it has more like crazy weird stuff than just vampires. Death Spa. Woo. That sounds amazing. I've not seen Death Spa, but I've always wanted to. It's, it's supposed to be wild. It's like a haunted spa that just murders everyone. I, I need to see this. Is What's it new that? or old? Oh, it's old. It's old. Oh. Not reading at the moment. I was making my own smudging sprays to sell at an upcoming market. The scent is cypress and bergamot. I hope I'm saying that right. It is heavenly if I do say so myself. Whoa. It does sound good. So cute. I'm assuming you mean the ambiance. Thank you. 60 pages of The Babysitter by R.L. Stein. I like that one. Whoa. I'm screaming at this girl. I know. Austin. <laughs> yes. Read 35 pages of The Midnight Club by Christopher Pike. Then worked on some cute Halloween pages. Preparing to cry. Yes. I was actually going to say that. It is a sad book, Hannah. It's sad. But I like it a lot. Watch Christine and Amy's videos. Wait, I've got to catch up on videos. Videos. I am so behind right now. I'm also medium behind. Yeah, like you just released. Well, I watched your Patreon when I didn't watch the other one yet. Uh, so I'm behind <laughs> on you too. <laughs> Animal Crossing when I should have been catching up on my reading. Don't feel bad. I should have been cleaning and I was diamond painting. It's cool though. It's relaxing. Doing Animal Crossing is fun. You're just like, doo, 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 yeah, it's a chill game. Do, 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 do. Oh, Mindy finished the last 15 minutes of She Is a Haunting. It was all right. Then I started the audiobook for A Child Alone with Strangers while working on my diamond painting. Froggy. Ribbit, ribbit. Morning, Froggy. Morning, ribbit. Oh, Mindy's updating her points. Wow. If you guys want, I'll calculate the points in the next sprint and uh, let you know a little secret update. Wow. Eight hours left. 
You can do it, Aaron. I didn't read that sprint, but I'm going to be reading Jurassic Park during the next one. Lips is like hiding behind these things. Sorry, she was like trying to climb up on there and it was cute, but then she stopped. Of course. Where'd you go? Moves. Where are you? Everyone's reading, not everyone, but a lot of people are reading Venus's wreck for Jurassic Park. That's awesome. It's fair. Thank have you read Jurassic Park? Never? I have not read it. I have to. You would like you would like it because it gets it's fun and it's, it's pretty not mean. Too much science. No, no, it's not too much science. It's very mean though. And like you know what get... I'm comparing it to though, right? Oh yeah, but everything's better than that. It's not even any nowhere close to that. So like the science isn't as in, like intimidating like as that. No, no. Okay. I don't think so. Okay. No, I don't think so. It's the the science is like there, but it's not like that important. Like it's like it it's much more fun when it's like the full on like the monsters really go on a rampage and like it's wild and like John Hammond is such an asshole in the book. Like he's a villain. Like he's a straight up villain. Like he is not a fun old man. He's a mm. I'm evil bitch. That's kind of cool. I want to see him be evil. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It, it reminds me more of like a, because like there's like they really describe how much ammunition and like what all they have, like when they're like fighting with all the monsters. It kind of reminded me of like an old Resident Evil game. It's kind of written oh. like that. Where you're like, I only got one gun. What am I going to do? <laughs> That's cool. I'm excited. I it just, I wanted to read it this year, but I knew I was like, ah, I, I just will never have enough time this year. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think that one is overly intimidating. At least I'd be interested to see what everyone else says about that because it's been a little bit since I read it. But like, I remember not because like I don't care about the science. You can't do that. I'm with pretty time. sure. So I'm just it just whoop, and I go kill didn't everything. You, spooky little book nerd, didn't you release a vlog reading Jurassic Park today? I watched that this morning, and she liked it. Vlogging, vlogging park. And thank you, Katrina. By the way, Katrina is another one of my co-hosts, and she is linked down below. Please subscribe. She's been working so hard lately. She's working. She deserves all the subs. Thank you so much, Lauren, and thank you for giving it to me. I love you. Oh. I have 50 pages left of Night Shoot. Yes, David Sodagrin. I knew oh, it. Sodagrin. Prepping to make some egos, Benedict? That is fancy. <laughs> I love that. I freaking love that. <laughs> Please take a picture. <laughs> I need to see it on the Discord. If you're on the... You are on the Discord. Uh, hi. I just bought Night Shoot. I read The Horror this year and loved it. I want to read that one so bad. I've only ever read Night Shoot, I think. I don't think I've read any other Sodogrin. I've read Night Shoot. Uh, oh, my Have God. You said did you read Maggie's Grave? No, I want to read that one later this year. Somebody might have it as a book club pick eventually. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Wounded Butterfly is exactly what I was thinking. See, Andrew? I believe her. Wounded. By the way, Alicia makes Wounded. the greatest graphics. And Making dinner right now, thinking about my Bone Chillers book tonight, or about starting it. <laughs> I just thought she was randomly <laughs> thinking about my, bo my Bone Chillers book. If you're dreaming about Bone Chillers. Uh, I do have another Bone Chillers on my list as well, the Shopping Mall one. Yeah, here oh. it is. It's not called, like, it's just called Shopping Mall? No, it's Beware the Shopping Mall. Oh, Beware the Shopping Mall. And look, skeletons. Yeah, I like their outfits, though. That's cute. Isn't it that crazy? Would be that would be so much cooler if mannequins were skellies. Like, that would be way cooler. Why don't they do that for all Halloween? Like, it's just a bunch of skeletons be like, hey, girl. That hey would be boy. amazing. Andrew! That could be literally about anything. I know. Are Lots there any ebooks for those bone, bone chillers? Have they uh, done that? Someone, I think someone said the other day that there was. I could have sworn, of course, I'll never be able it, to find it. It feels like to me that it'd be like more like a, a something that might have been on archive.org or something, but there might be. Oh, someone maybe. mentioned Bone Chillers on Discord, and they said something about the first six chillers. issues. Bone Does anybody know in the chat? Oh, on Kindle Unlimited, maybe? Not, it sounds bone familiar. Chill, or Everrand, maybe? Oh, yeah, some of them are on Kindle. Uh, yeah, there are KU, a few of them are. There's like, I. I, I I guess it's probably only the first few though, because like there's it doesn't seem like it's it's all of them, but um so yeah. I'm gonna check out I have like ten library cards on my Libby, so I'm gonna see if there's any on there. <laughs> uh 
I am also liking Dead Eleven so far, but I, that's not what I was reading. Like I was saying, I'm reading The Cursed Among Us because it's short, and I only have like under two hours left. I'm excited. I didn't uh, realize Beware of the Shopping Mall is the very first one of that. Oh, series. it is. I didn't realize I that so. was number like, one. At least that's what it says on the Kindle one. It says Bones oh, it is. is book number no, one. You're right. That's awesome. Perfect. I didn't know that. That's cool. And there's Frank and Turkey. I need to read Frank and Turkey. Frank and Turkey. Oh, yeah. How many bodies have been written? Yes, we needed an earring check. I'm glad you like them. I thought you might want to see. Is it, that's a be kind rewind, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I like them a lot. I'm not capable of just sitting down for an hour and reading. I have to clean or do something productive. Well, I'm going to have to get my butt in gear and do that, but I'm so sore because I ran earlier and I just don't feel like it, but I will do it. I will do it. What time is she? How early is she coming over tomorrow? I have no idea. Did she even text me yet? Nope. Uh, we haven't made our, we were supposed to make like an itinerary and we didn't do it. So, because we have so much we want to do. Going to Piccadilly's, taste testing cookies, playing games. I think we're going to try to build a fort together. Oh. I got to be careful though, because you know what, you know, you build forts with pillows and she talks about doing pillow therapy on people. And I think she's just going to try to smother me. And I'm a little scared. I'll so have we'll to see. check in. We'll have to check in on you on the Discord. Like, have you been killed yet? If I don't show up for sprints tomorrow night, you guys know something went wrong. And that cat just took out her frustrations and was like, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, oh God. Good night, sweet prince. But see, other teams can get along with each other because the snakes and the barracudas spending a whole day together. Yeah, so that you guys can take more photos of you punching each other. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be like, you want us to pretend like we're punching each other again? <laughs> That'd be great. We'll see if she probably will wear her snake. I bet you she'll wear her snake. I'm gonna bet $20 she'll wear her shirt. Finish recording my Dewey's Readathon TBR video so now I can read while it uploads probably some classic Star Trek novels tonight. That is really cool. Star Trekking across the universe. Cameron gave me, and my friend Benjamin gave me some really great Star Trek TNG books not long ago, like a month and a half ago. I need to ask you about you because there's like one that was like close by that I was thinking about getting because it was in like one of the, it was like, it looked cool, but I don't know if you have it. So I'll have to ask you. Next time I have them all nice and neat in a row now so I could easily check if I have it or not. Woo! Because I reorganized that little section of my bookcase. It's like at the very bottom. And I was like, oh, it looks all nice now. I feel like it was one of the Q books. Those are probably the ones that you have, right? Or I have some Q books, but not all. In fact, all Cameron books. had gotten me, are those Q books? Um, two books out of a three book series. Oh. And I can't remember if it's Q books or not. Yeah, Q Zone and Q Strike. But I think it's missing the first one. Okay, I have to check because it's Q one of those. I think I, if, I, I'll, I'll check to Monday. I'll check Monday. Don't rush to go check. Hello. Hello. Watch Final Destination 1 and 2 and picking up a Goosebump book. Oh, for I'm sure you're not paranoid the rest of the night. My goodness gracious. That... Check all the bolts. Check everything in your check. house. Don't ever drive. Fri the oh, the start of Final Destination 2 is the scariest thing ever. You're like, I yeah. hate logging. I never want to log. Keep them away from me. Yeah, get away, logs. What rolls downstairs and over your something and over your favorite dog? What kills you in Final Destination? Destination? It's log, log, log. That's so bad. Excuse me. <laughs> what goes through your windshield and crushes your head? Log, 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 log. 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 I had a feeling it was going to be sad, but I can see why Cameron likes Christopher Pike as an author going to put a snack order through Amazon fresh for this weekend. That is cool. I don't know. If it's, I guess that's a thing you got in America. Hello. Ooh, watching some live performances. So won't be reading tonight, but I hope you have fun watching your performances. Crystal, are you at Coachella right now? That'd be funny. I think she's just watching. I think she's just, just watching, watching from live, home. But, but I like to imagine she's like, yeah, I'm in Coachella. Hold on, wait, I'm losing my place again. Secret update, it will be coming. Lost World of my TBR this month, might get to it next week. Oh yeah, that one even has less less science in it. There's even Ooh. more dinosaurs. It's now like, that <laughs> makes <laughs> me excited. <laughs> okay, good. The science wasn't intimidating. Yeah, I didn't think it was, but... I have to go back and comment on your vlog. I'm sorry, I haven't done it yet, but I did watch it this morning. Read it last week. Hello, Linda. Hello. She is... 
a haunting is not nostalgic but somehow meets eight prompts that's because we designed the prompts to work for everyone and i'm very happy about it uh lisa frankenstein is very nostalgic which i watched last night and it only fits two prompts well, well i will admit the movie stuff doesn't fit as many prompts as the books yeah, but I'm gonna tweet that next year. A well, bit. but people who watch a lot of TV shows, though, it's probably it'll probably even out. The points will probably even out because, like, especially if someone's watching a bunch of there TV shows, there are people who are watching a lot of TV yeah. shows. Like some so, points that some people are getting are like insane, and I'm only right. adding, you know, the prompts it fits plus the episode. Yeah. Thank God I'm not multiplying. Then it would be crazy. Yeah, but I think I think probably it it'll it's actually. In the end, it will be... Uh, well, I just thought it was a little confusing when multiple prompts could have been like, well, should I count it for this or this or both? Or Like, I just didn't want it to be confusing, but we'll see. People still have a lot of questions, but maybe next year we could fine-tune it more. Any just questions? Yeah, probably like next year it'll just be more watch a movie or TV shows. It'll be or, or, ors. I feel like we're reliving deja vu right now, but any questions? You can't just say uh, any questions. You have to say yeah, yeah. Any questions? I mean, obviously, I was doing that. But yeah, but you weren't like doing the hand. I wasn't doing the hands. I'm sorry. I'm so glad you love diamond painting. This makes me excited. I love when people get into a new craft and love it. I love diamonds. Trying to figure out if I'm going to do anything today. Live yeah. life, Froggy. Enjoy your life. Do nothing. Go outside. Take do nothing. The birds or do nothing. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, I support it all. Pat a wallaby on the back. I knew someone mentioned it on Discord. Thank you. The first four are on KU. Thank you. Ooh. I knew By it. By the way, I was looking and Frank, I, there was a Bone Chiller show apparently. Oh, I didn't know that. There's a Frank and Turkey episode. I think it's on YouTube. I read that one over Thanksgiving. I should watch the episode. I have not read any of them, but... I'm sure for a 20-minute episode, it's probably interesting. <laughs> it's probably cute, you know. Who knows? Probably. But corny, but that's can't fine. Be, uh, right. can't, can't be any worse than Thanks Killing. It's probably way cuter than that, for one. Because anything, Thanks anything Killing is, is like kind of crass, isn't it? It's an adult movie. Yeah, it's terrible. It's one of the but worst things no ever invented. No comparison, that. It's just the worst. <laughs> And like the turkey has terrible lines. The turkey's all like, oh, oh, what are you gonna go gobble at me? And it's like stock's really dumb. It's got the dumbest puppet. It's all like, oh, time to get stuffed. <laughs> oh, it's time to get stuffed. I kind of like you guys that seen, though. Um Dr. Giggles. No. No, it's always been one that I've almost watched, and then I'm always like, I don't know about Dr. Giggles. My husband loves it, and there's a ton of one-liners before he kills people. Um, yeah, I really like it I'm trying to think of one. There's one where he's like in bed with this dude, and he's like, "I hope you brought protection." And then he like, <laughs> "That's great. oh, there needs to be like a there needs to be like a montage of those kills because I know, of course, you got the uh, the, the, the the leprechaun one. Where it's like, oh, so I always be a pretty good after after he jumps out of someone's dick." My dad coming in here with some movie Rex Parasite the Grey on Netflix was awesome. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> right after I just made a joke about that. <laughs> it's fine. I'm sure he's still he might not be here still, but maybe he is. Anyway, hi Dad. I Have actually you watched any of the Parasite movies? No. I think this is a show he's talking about. He told me and Paul about this. I think he, this is a show. Oh, okay, I know because like I know it was like an anime at one point, and it's because this dude with a weird hand and the hand's got an eye and it goes like Bew, stabby, stabby, stab. but like I, I didn't sworn, watch it. yeah, whatever he's talking about here is I think the show he just told us about. I think because I think there was a new live action one. I just wasn't sure if it was a movie or not. So, uh, Frank and Turkey, I love that one. Amanda says it's good. I agree. Build a fort, and Paul just added you to the will. What a shame, <laughs> Alicia. I read Star Trek versus Transformers graphic novel today, and it was super fun. That does Aww. sound really fun. I hope they kissed. I think of that scene often when I'm driving. Oh, no, the Final Destination scene? That is not a good scene to think about. Or maybe she's thinking about whether or not Transformers and Star Trek would kiss. I'm pretty sure that's not the scene she's thinking I about. I could be, though. She might be like, I'm always thinking about it. You know, it's our enforcer. Fun. She's here. Oh, no. Kitty. Better be having fun. She's oh, like, you God. better be having fun. Enforcers have to walk like all intimidating, so this is what Kitty like would Like this, like. another very intimidating Kitty. 
very intimidating. Kitty, I'm so glad you're here. I have a paper I very much need to work on, so the question is more whether I'm going to do that or something fun. Ooh. I don't want to, you know, influence you to be bad, but fun is fun. Oops, sorry, Cameron. I have bone chills is too. Oh, the show is great, he says. Nice, that's good to know. I've never heard about that one. Kitty is saying hi to Melissa. The fun police is here. That is Kitty. She's our OSA enforcer slash the fun police. You better have fun. That's like what Kitty would say. Yeah, exactly. Just like that. You better have fun. Dr. Giggles is so good. I Gives gotta check giggles. that out. Gives you the giggles. Bone Chiller stars Linda. Oh, who I love. Can't remember if it was before or after Freaks and Geeks. I love Freaks and Geeks. It probably was before because it looked like it was for 96. I forget. Oh. I thought... Was it uh, Freaks and Geeks 90, 98? Let me check. Let me check for no one but me. I thought it was uh, 96, yeah. but... At 90, it might be. It no, might 98 be. sounds right. It's 99. We were both wrong. Oh, Everyone is wrong. Wait, no, I said 96. You were close. Never mind. <laughs> My dad says it's a six-part Korean horror limited series. Oh, okay, okay. I shall check it out one day, Dad, when it's not old school April time. Maybe for Halloween. Melissa is a log. Guys, you gotta stop thinking about that log scene. Melissa is a log. I can't drive behind logs, but also the kissing. Mm, you know? You guys better like the live OSA Fun Enforcer, the OSA Volturi. Yes, it's perfect. <laughs> it is absolutely perfect that she is the OSA Volturi. Three in one. She's all the Volturi in one person. Maximum Volturi. I, I love that. Forgot to make a shirt of that, Kitty. <laughs> that would be a great shirt, honestly. I think I want to do another hour, if that's okay. I know it's already late, but... Oh, no, God, is no! Is that Andrew? I, I can't believe clean. it. I can't believe it. I'll be here. I don't want to have... You can do, like, a 17-hour spread. you have to pop one or off, Kelly? Yeah, I'm going to bounce, because I'm doing early morning sprints. Ooh. You hear that, guys? If you're looking for early morning, Kelly's got you covered. Thank you for doing that, Kelly. The one sure, sprint you'll only... never see me on. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> I got to get up anyways. And I was able to do it last week because we had spring break. And I'm like, oh, there's a little time in the morning tomorrow before cartoons. So, so perfect. I'll see you guys tomorrow if you're awake. You I'll still be. be sleeping. You guys will be. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you regardless oh. yes i will thanks, see y'all later thanks, bye. Thanks, bye. Bye. Bye, John. bye kelly goodbye can i see some of my feet no <laughs> no no <laughs> she got no. home so quick she's like no, no bye you did, you did not do that on the internet <laughs> no you don't you don't know who's watching you do need one kitty I should have had a special shirt made for you. That would have been so amazing. Is it okay, Andrew? What uh, is that? It's like it was like my collectible King Kong tin. Oh no! Lewis just knocked it over. It's fine. I think it's good. Okay, it all fits perfectly. It's good. All right, another hour. Just after the top of the hour, we're going back to our nice little ambiance. So let me put up this little banner again. So read until. How about O2 of the next hour? Whoa, two. We'll put this thing up. Whoa! Oops, Andrew's already gone. Goodbye! Goodbye!
What? <gasps> I'm annoyed. Why? I dropped a freaking um a paper slicer. I don't know how to explain. It's like a you slice paper with it. It's like a thing, and I can't find the blade. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, I've vacuumed everywhere, so I dropped it. It felt like in pieces. And even Paul's helping me look for it. I vacuumed. We look in in the vacuum thing. Like, do we accidentally th like vacuum it up? We shaked out Jackson's kennel bed and kennel, and it's I still can't find it. Oh no! So I'm, I'm sorry. like, great. There's this a freaking blade somewhere <laughs> hidden. How I'm big just, is it? Is it just like a tiny one? Or? It's tiny, but I think I would have seen like I would have seen it. So I'm so confused as to where the hell it is. And I looked like I had my, what do you call it? It's a cart of craft stuff. I looked on the cart. I looked around the cart. I vacuumed around the cart. I pulled out our coffee tray thing. Oh, my. I don't know where Jeez. it is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hope you find it. That sucks, though. Yeah, I might have to go to either sprint sooner so I could help look for it or end sooner. But I don't know yet. I'd really love to just find it. Eva, you know me, I will adapt to either. Hold on, let's see what everyone's saying real, real quick. Where did, oh, what did you get up to? Sorry you're to like, be uh, you're, like, a bummer. Mm, you're like looking at comments like I'm a fight every commenter here. No, no, no. I'm like, I'm a bummer right now. No, 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 no. You're not a bummer. Uh, I read some more of Night Flyers, and then I went to the grocery store for like a few minutes. Ooh, what'd you get? I, well, I, I bought stuff to make tacos, and then I also bought um uh things to make nachos because i'm like mm, i want nachos tonight we were just talking like, about nachos the other day i know but now i'm like no andrew you shouldn't eat nachos tonight but i'll probably eat nachos tonight. why shouldn't you eat them because i you know just <laughs> try to cut back on the snackies <laughs> i don't snackies. know i understand i had a little bit of snackies earlier snackies. Uh, the, the ku bone chillers are not as fun as the oh, physical they suck. ones they suck. I didn't, I didn't even wanna, look at them. They're, they're lame, but I'm sure the material is still good. Who is eating popcorn? Eating popcorn. I know you're going popcorn. to light. Ooh, Christine is here. She's another one of our co-hosts. Follow her. Subscribe Ooh. below. Sub to that I do love the ambiance, too. For anyone coming in late and is wondering what our ambiance was, it's from Autumn Cozy. And... It's called 1980s Game Room Ambiance, Rainy Night, 80s Nostalgia Ambiance, 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 VHS Cassette, Nintendo, Tubular. Tubular, yes. Oh, Diamond Art Coasters, A Mushroom One, got 28% into At the Earth's Core, which is a science fiction book published in 1914. I also, before I dropped the thing, I was listening to more of my book, but then when I dropped it, I was like, bah, bah. <laughs> He just went full like Godzilla. Yeah, <laughs> I went. I did go full Godzilla. So I have a hundred, not a hundred. I have an hour and ten minutes left. Uh, I could have been almost done. Listen to Into the Jungle audio. Started laundry. Took out the trash. Going to do things I need to do today. Really need to get some of this paper done. You can do it, Froggy. You can it, do it's it. It's my own fault for dropping it, but. See, I didn't even know the blade was missing. First, I was looking for the plastic thing. Then I found that. Then I was looking for the little slider thing. Then I found that. I turned it upside down, and there's no blade. And I'm like, oh, God, the blade's gone. And so I still can't find it. I still can't believe it. That is annoying. That is annoying. I know, especially because, like, didn't hear it get vacuumed up. Have, like, have literally moved furniture and don't know where it is. Wow, 30 pages of Jurassic Park. They just got to the island. Awesome, Libby. Uh, yeah. Finished Night Shoot. Gave it five stars. Whoa, 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 Starting Campfire whoa, whoa, whoa. by Sean Sarles next. Sean Sarles. DuckTales 2007 instead of Loki is what Ooh. our boy Rope Crewman 36 watched. Ooh. Read 20% of my DBZ volume. There was much more Super Saiyan action involved and started the first two minutes of Nintendo 64 Paper Mario. Good old Paper Mario. 14 pages left of the babysitter. This girl, I swear. The <laughs> ending's pretty wild. A magnet might be a good idea. Oh, that is, that's I didn't not think a bad of idea. that. Yeah. Laser tag with dogs and 35% in. That sounds fun. It's a fun title. I read a little. 
Bless, Bless you. you. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. I read a little bit, but mostly watch funny videos on Instagram. I think I needed the laugh. Oh, that's nice. I read a bit of Chain Letter by Christopher Pike and journaled a bit. Ooh. Ooh. Work journaling session. Watched funny dog videos. <laughs> that what he just dropped, but that sounded fucking funny. Uh, a fork or a knife, I'm guessing. Uh, on TikTok and read a couple of pages. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Like I said, not much reading for me. I'm just mysteriously trying to find the blade. We can go back and we can and then you can check in in an hour. And then if you haven't found it, we can end if you want. Are you sure? That's that's fine with me. I'm reading a book. It's fine. We could do thirty or forty five instead of a whole hour. It's up to you. Well, it just. We, how about you? How about you put in an hour? But if you come back before, then you come back before then. I'm not going. Yeah, anymore. but then it scares people's. You're not gonna scare. Yeah. yeah how about gonna... I come back in thirty minutes and check, or thirty five minutes or something? Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. Oh wait, laser tag with dogs isn't a book. Did you play laser tag with dogs? <laughs> Which is fun. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was the name of a book. Listening to 90s Bitch and working on a friend central perk diamond painting. So fun. The search for the blade. Ominous music. Dun, dun, dun. It's true. It is an ominous search. To read or not to read. That is the question. Search for the blade. Become the blade runner. <laughs> or the blade master. Isn't that uh... from uh, that kingdom game? Remember that kingdom game with the keyblades? Oh, Kingdom Hearts? Kingdom Hearts, yeah, yeah. I couldn't remember what it was called. I used to love watching people play Kingdom that, Hearts. That one is the oh my god, that that game is so wild. The plot in that game that game is just like I like the like plot. These, it's these emo kids, and all of a sudden it's like, I'm Donald Duck. What are you doing? It is kind of a weird plot when you it's think amazing. about it. It doesn't it's really so make good. sense. It's so good because all of a sudden it's just like the most emo dude you've ever seen, like from Lincoln Park, hanging out with like Hades from Hercules, going like, I can't understand your emo ness. And then you got to cut all these heads off, but then more start growing. Well, no, 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 wait. Jump on the Hydra's back. Oh, yeah. That keeps repeating <laughs> over and over again. You got to jump on the Hydra's back. I will I say, that all, I will say though, that the freaking the Nightmare Before Christmas Land in the first game is like perfection. All it of is. the characters look so good. The Oogie Boogie fight is so good. He's like, oh, Oogie Boogie. Oh. And yeah, like, like I like, could never play the game, but it was fun watching peeps play. You like chase him around his like little evil like like roulette machines and all that stuff and he's all like whoa and he runs in a really silly way it's like it greatest. is so <laughs> funny that i remember jump up on the hydra's back i just remember <laughs> hearing that like 40 times and i was like mm, jump up on the hydra's back <laughs> yeah. you, you, meant, you said it like check the map there you're yeah, like, like check yeah. the map hydra <laughs> Good luck with the search. I'll be going to bed once this is over. Thank you for hanging out. It was so good to talk with you and see you. Have a good night. So Alicia. Alicia did play laser tag with the pups. Did you lose or did you win? That's a, that's a real, that's a real The question. pups might have won. Good luck blade hunting. I think I made a good decision. Looks like it's going to storm soon. Uh-oh. Yeah, I. the second one's kind of crazy. It's so then it crazy. totally doesn't make sense. It's so crazy. Anymore. There's another dude who's like, I'm also this guy. And you're like, what? <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't understand the plots either. Honestly, oh, I'm Alicia just there. lost. Oh, honestly, I'm just there. <laughs> He's they, put <laughs> they put bugs in him. What? <laughs> I Kingdom forgot Hearts that. One is the best. I forgot that Mickey Mouse shows up in like a trench coat, like he's from the Matrix and the thing, and he's like, "Ah, ha, ha! I'm really cool now." <laughs> so weird. Gosh, are these the heartless guys? <laughs> but you'll never guess who said that. <laughs> Maybe it was Goofy. Yes, I remember that too. It's like one of the first things. Like, gosh, are these those heartless guys? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that game. I would love to watch someone else play it. I just know that I wouldn't get very far. Like, I remember once trying to play, and I kept uh, oh, falling off a leaf in freaking the Tarzan level, oh, yeah. and I got pissed. I was it's like, I'm hard. so pissed off. Oh, my mom used to play those, too. Like, she was very good at those. I was bad. Like, again, Tarzan leaf, fall off. It was, And I was like, no, I'll never get past this. 
<laughs> All right, so I'm going to say, how about 45 minutes? We'll split the difference. <laughs> and then we'll check in and we'll see. Because that'll be almost the top of the hour. So, like, right before the top of the hour. Top of the hour. Right. Top of the hour, mate. If anyone has to go to bed, no worries. But at least then we have done a third sprint, I guess. Yeah. Thank you, Amanda. I hope you're enjoying The Simpsons. The Simpsons. So let me put the little... Find let me edit the banner the here. Find that damn blade. We need Maybe some take, epic search music. Take one of the take one of your like stronger magnets with you, like uh, like Alicia was saying, because that might just help just like when you're going around. I know this is going to sound dumb. Please excuse me, but the blade's going to be magnetic for sure, right? Well, is I there guess a world guess, in which it's not magnetic? I, I guess it's. I guess it just depends on what it is. It probably is magnetic. I would say there's a good chance it's magnetic. Yeah. So this is going to be a weird numbered sprint. It's going to be like a forty. Why don't we just go to the top of the hour, Kelsey? Just it go, is, go. but I'm just telling oh, you it's oh, like sorry. approximately a forty-seven <laughs> minutes. I thought, I thought you were like going to be like go to fifty-four or something. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was just saying for people who like to know the exact time, I think it's about forty-seven minutes. So I'm sorry, it's a weird. I I looked in the cup. I'm gonna check again, but I looked. It's this little thin thing slider thing and i looked there and i looked underneath the whole platform of it but i'm gonna look again because it's so weird that i can't find it still i even oh, looked like under jackson's kennel which is nearby uses wizard magic to turn himself into octopus goofy into a turtle oh the turtle yes I remember oh, that. Yeah. and sora into merboy at the little mermaid world that was cool though Kingdom Hearts was just one of the games I sat and watched my brother play, never got to play it myself. You just need to lost you need the lost soundtrack that plays when they're trucking through the jungle. Yes, that will be perfect. Alright, let's get this ambiance. I'm so sorry about this, guys. Don't apologize. You're good. You gotta do what you gotta do, girls. We understand. I'm so annoyed. I wish I never dropped that damn thing. God and I was being it. responsible in cleaning and see what it gets me. How dare what is the lesson? Don't be responsible. <laughs> it's going to be 46 minutes. Well, 45 and a half minute sprint. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. Good luck. Thank you.
don't get scared this time. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what? That's gonna scare people for real. We had three <laughs> seconds left, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's so evil. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Did you find it? I did not find it. Oh, no. But me and Paul are, like, giving up. I'm sure it's fine. It, it'll it, Hopefully it'll show up in, like, a random place, and you're like, oh, how did it end up here? He's like, either it's, we're good, one of us is going to step on it, which honestly is fine with me, as long as Jackson's not stepping on it. Then if he stepped on it, I'd feel really bad. It would be kind of hard for, like, because, like, dogs have, like, all, like, the little, like, yeah. Pads, like, like, yeah. Yeah, I, I I would not worry about that too much. Although, of course, I mean, we're humans. We're going to worry about this. But, but I mean, we freaking vacuumed the kennel, like the tray of the kennel, because that's where kind of near where I dropped it a little bit. That's why I'm so like concerned with the kennel. We're putting the sheets that were in the kennel in the dryer. We like yeah. padded the freaking uh, little bed that we have for him. We looked underneath it. We pulled out the furniture again. I vacuumed more and I relooked through the vacuum like dust balls. It might be like in like maybe it's like in one of the like the tubes of the vacuum or something like he that. He looked in the tube. We also looked in the tube because oh, we we're like, dang. what if it got stuck? Yeah. But like it's hard to see all the way into the tube though. That's true. It's very it's not easy. So not easy. But it could even though I looked in the like from the vacuum, the garbage, there was like these balls of hair. It could have been in there. I was even taking a scissors and I was like going through the balls of hair. I was like, I just can't stand up and search anymore. Like my back was killing me. I was like, I can't do it. Yeah, anymore. you gotta you gotta be kind to yourself. It's it's it'll either show up or it won't. I'm sure it's I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, like everyone's saying, like if you check the normal walkways, which I did, and I even vacuumed the walkways, unlikely he'll step on it and maybe wedged into something, which yeah. I you know, I think that could be, maybe it's in a crevice, as long as Jackson is safe. I know. Well, dang it. I know. I know. Oh, I hope his, his migraine feels better, but I know you're gone. Late night, late night at karaoke. Ooh, that's fun. Ooh. I finished my book, but now I'm invested in the missing blade. I agree with Alicia. No good deed goes unpunished, even though it wasn't really a good deed that I was cleaning. It was like something I should do. Well, I don't know. It's nice to do for somebody coming over. I think it was a good deal. Well, that's true. I popped off to enjoy dinner with my fiance. Now we are drinking cocktails while watching Buffy. It's my first time and I'm so obsessed. It's your first time? Oh, nice. That's so exciting. Good old Buffy. Cat will come over and find it right away. She'll be like, yo, here's this blade. No, she'll just be like, oh, hey, I actually stole it. I Broke into your house yesterday. Oh, hey, and remember I that time it? you thought you were missing a blade? It was actually me who took it at the well, second it dropped. I had a question for you after yes. you done, after we finished these, after we finished the, the uh, comments. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, it's not a huge question. It's like a more of a we'll talk a lot if I ask the question. That's why. Oh, I Paper Mario 64. Always read about it in Nintendo Power and saw it in Walmart. Y'all, this game is one of the most charming things I've ever seen. It's oh, very cute. cute. It's very cute. In my life, my I, feel life. Like, I feel like I came during a saga. It's the saga of the missing blade from a paper slicer. Paper slicer blade. Paper slicer blade. So it's kind of like a saga, but we didn't find the blade. And I've looked for it now for two sprints, and I didn't find it. Ooh. Reading an itty-bitty novella from the Splatter at Sea Collection. This one is Sirens and Seaweed by Candace Nola. Splatter. Nola! Splatter at Sea sounds like a fun collection, though. Like, that sounds cool. like a great name for a collection. I feel like I need to maybe read that in June. Like <laughs> the Goomba family. That would be great for June because of slashers and like splattery and yeah. And the sea. And the sea. Yeah. Duh. Sea. We should put it on both of our radars. <laughs> Creepy. My finger looks really big. Anyway. Uh, Jay Fingies. You know, Goombas are always trying to kill Mario. Not here. The Goomba grandparents are hospitable and welcoming. Aw, cute. I know Froggy was saying she got a really late Easter card in the mail during the sprint. I'm sorry that I didn't find the blade. It would have been a good epic ending to your <laughs> your saga of staying up to see what happened. But started the babysitter too. Poor Jenny. What new tortures are in store for her? I know, right? Okay, <laughs> I'm putting that on my list. I'm I'm making sure I put this on my wish list what, on the Amazon now. 
No, the sp this one because it, it's the spider at sea. That this comment, like, because Judas Sanas has a uh, horror story. About oh, I didn't eels. see that part. I think it's called Eels. We both need to read this. Yeah, one hondo posing. Are you looking it up on like Amazon or something? I am. Oh, yeah. It's okay. So I guess it's huh interesting. It seems like it's a few <laughs> different books. Like it's not a. I, oh. Oh no, maybe there was a oh interesting. So a bunch of them were released. Um yeah, they seem to be all kind of released individually, which is interesting. Um you'll have to tell us which ones are the best from that kind of collection. Yeah, please let us know because now we we interested now, like big we time. Interested. I'm definitely putting freaking um freaking eels, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Eels Paper is going Mario on. Two is one of my favorite Nintendo games. Ooh, ooh. Just read the scene in Flowers in the Attic where Kathy tries to give the Christmas gift. That scene made me tear up. This book is so sad. I know the freaking grandma. I hate her. But there's other hateable people too. I'm also at seventy percent in my DBZ volume, and I read the first chapter of my Fantastic Four volume. Can't win for you guys. Can't wait for you guys' Splash and Slashers readathon. OMG, I must be toasted. Big thumbs moment. <laughs> big thumbs! I love when she talks about her big thumbs moments. Slime and Splashers or Slimy Splashers? No, 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 it's not that. Uh, not like Garbogus, but this... Yes, Christine, Andrew, and I, and someone maybe named Kitty, are doing a readathon <laughs> in June. Someone it's, maybe named Kitty. It's not, it's not the one that you know. It's a completely different. It's the New, new Hampshire Kitties. I'm very excited for our co-readathon. I think it will be amazing. I am too. And also, I definitely <laughs> added like two today. things. I added eel to my thing. Because Wait, so eel, eel is cool. separate? Yeah, all, they're all separate. So they're all like separate little novellas. It seems like oh. most of them are on KU though, so it's okay. Uh, but the other oh, one okay, I added... it's a series of novellas she's saying here. Yeah. They're not in the same book. Okay. The, 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 I want the other one. The other one that I uh, I also put on my wish list from that was like when kaiju sized creatures erupt from the ocean depths, they wreak havoc across the world. Are there Anyone... any with sharks? No, it doesn't look like it. But it well, doesn't... I mean, Brian Barry already has shark stuff. Yeah, and I I, I think one of the things that is like going to be like to me to is like watery or or like well, yeah know, it doesn't have yeah. to be sharks but bitch i'm looking for sharks i know you're looking for sharks i'm, I'm just looking saying. for sharks bitch. i'm just saying please. but eels will do eels will do eels will do eels will do <laughs> wow this guy also <laughs> no don't bring back slimy splashers or slime and splashes <laughs> oh, no. no the covers oh. are amazing are they amazing andrew yeah, uh, I'm looking this up. They're fun. They're funny looking. There's also a book by one of these people called Dino Gore, and it seems like it's just like a bunch of dinosaurs eating people too. Is it uh the sequel or a sequel to her Splattersaurus mm -hmm. book? No, but I have read Splattersaurus Rex. I think there was another one coming out though, wasn't there? I think there was. Yeah. Yeah, because there's like Splattersaurus Rex. Uh, sorry, Splattersaurus. Then there's Splattersaurus Rex. And then what was the next one? There was one more. I Ooh, I like eels. That's fun. Yeah. I like <laughs> I'm dying. No. Eh. No, eh. you must live forever, Kelsey. You must never die. I'm never going to live. Never going to oh, live yeah. at all. Never. Instead of I, that doesn't go. Just forget <laughs> it. See, I, I was going to say... try to do Rick Astley, but it wasn't working. I thought you were going to say never going to love, never going to laugh. <laughs> Never gonna love, never gonna laugh, never gonna live. Oh my god. Evil Rose Up. Is that the one you want? Evil Rose Up? Yeah, that's the other one I was looking at. Also, oh, like... You're right, Kaiju. Ka Kaiju-sized creatures. There is, um... I did see that uh, Brian G. Berry has been writing freaking uh, novelizations that I didn't know about. Uh, he wrote a novelization for House Shark, which is the cover is like a person on a toilet and a shark is coming out of the toilet and eating them. What? Uh, by the way, yeah, he wrote The Barn, and that was great. I loved yeah. The Barn. Well, the, I don't know. I've never seen the movie, but I loved the novelization. Finish the Ego's Benedict pictures posted in the Discord. I can't wait to look. <laughs> I don't know why I always look like I'm writing. The, like, he also did work. a novelization for the Amityville toilet. Oh, I heard. <laughs> actually, I heard about that one, and I want to read that one really bad. Oh, I love it. I love it. 
Uh, but I mean, uh, obviously, it might have it's you know potty humor. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that, that looks so lot. good. The Ego's Benedict, Andrew. Oh, oh, dang, oh, oh. Girl. it's effing fancy too. It's classy dang. as hell looking. Dang. Grim Poppy does most of the cover designs. My dream is to write something and commission her. That would be so cool. Grim Poppy. That sounds like a cool... I like that name. No, I have not. Ooh, maybe I'll do that for... Since I'm doing that uh, Patreon readathon with Andrew and Kitty. Maybe I'll do that. Let's Speaking see. of that, I had a question I'll know. Have you ever heard of this book, Road Kills? By no. Because it sounds like a slasher. And I've never heard anyone talk about it. What year is it from? It is from, it is from, it is from, what year is it from? 86. The, no, but it looks good. Do you think it's trash? I, I, don't, I don't know. But I, because I was looking, because, uh, so here's the plot. Richard Asher is driving to his son's graduation, and he'll have lots of fun on the way. For between New York and Miami, there are lots of young teenagers and college students thumbing for rides with a willing stranger. And there's nothing Richard enjoys more than venting his anger on helpless, fleeing, feeling that terror, and consummating his joy with his pearl-handed meat cleaver and a oh. blast from his pistol. Except... It's creating... not the pistol you're thinking of. Wow. Oh, wow. No, no I hope not. Oh uh, except creating a more inventive way for his victims to die. Ooh. And for his son, Steve, his girlfriend a thousand miles away, the horror has just begun. So the dad's going to freaking stalk his son's girlfriend? I guess. He said it's, well, it says his son, Steve, and his girlfriend, but. Oh, that kind of sounds like a slasher, right? Like he's it does, he's coming up with an, yeah, it also is weird that his name is Richard. Voice. Is it based on Richard Layman's life? I hope not. <laughs> Please no. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna save this one for that then. I'm gonna you take should a totally. Chance. I'm gonna take a chance. Take a this chance. So my... if I ever see it, I could read it one day, maybe. Well, you know, if uh, if I read it, and it's good. I will send it to no, you. No, don't. I'm gonna do it anyway. By the way, uh, what lurks beneath the dramatized adaptation is on audio for free with your Audible membership. Hmm, that might be fun. It could be. It could I'm going be. to save this into my life. It's only six hours long, bitch. Oh yeah, I'm gonna save this. Okay. So I could put this one away for it, that. That was on my old school April potentials. So I'm gonna put that away and read it next next month. Maybe maybe I'll do full Moonster next. Full Moonster. Ooh, another one. Um, included in your Audible membership, the Montauk Monster by Hunter Shea. Yeah, that's the dr the dramatization, right? The yeah, I know you yeah. don't like those though, do you? I'm. Uh, it's. I don't like it when they're not just the audiobook i like it when there's a full I cast like it i like it when there's a full cast audiobook but it doesn't it for me it feels like cheating i don't know why i'm just like i want to read the actual story i would read it if i like it like if i read the montauk monster and i like it then i'd probably listen to it but yeah yeah this is oh. probably gonna be my next book full moonster oh my god that looks dude, amazing just a dude with an uzi and a freaking werewolf what? so wait that's a werewolf yeah so Behind it's them? like yeah so oh. this is so th this is from the top secret files of bureau 813 they are america's first and last defense against vampires ghosts hellhounds and other paranormal threats to the safety of the world casualties are high so the bureau always needs well fresh blood <gasps> The Moonster, the Bureau team, knows it's going to have a rotten day with a psionic blast wave leaves a gaping rift between this world and the next. But what the Bureau doesn't know is that the psychic H-bomb was set off by a trained cadre of Hell's finest fiends, werewolves, and magical weirdos looking for some good earth real estate oh my god it's magical a, weirdos <laughs> yeah that's what it says it's a full-scale lunar powered invasion from the wacko zone and the bureau's top team has already lost their first battle 
That sounds fun. What is this from? Yeah, but the dude with the Uzi, is that a freaking men's adventure? Are you going to DNF that? We'll see. It's from 1992. Amityville Toilet is not as good as Skibbity. No, no, wait. Oh, that means less than Skibbity Toilet. No, this Maybe you meant cool. greater than. Greater than Skibbity Toilet. Eggos Benedict. I love Eggs Benedict. That's a, such a fun twist. I would love to make Ego cupcakes, but I'm going to spend so much money on the ingredients if I'm not careful. Roadkill sounds awesome. I've never heard of it before, says Cameron. You just put a book on his radar. It's going on his eBay search list, I bet. Maybe. If it's yeah, good. It, it's one of those things where it's like, if you haven't heard of it, then there's a little fear that it might just suck. But it could also be no, a hidden gem. gem. You never know. You never know. Yeah. You never know. Man, it's so fun trying to find the gems. I feel like, uh, in my opinion, well... People talk about Douglas Borton as like crazy, but I didn't. He they always talk about Dream House. I didn't hear anybody talk about uh, what did I read? It Death about? was it Death Song? Death Song, yeah. I didn't hear anybody talk about Death Song, but I loved that. Like, to me, that was a little gem. I wasn't expecting it to be so good. It's a little gem. So I was like, oh, it's a gem. And also Nelfs. Besides that one collab, nobody else really talked about Nelfs very extensively. Very true. Very true. I don't think it was mentioned hardcore in Paperbacks from Hell. Like, I don't think he put a paragraph in about it or anything. No, I don't think Paperbacks from Hell had it at all. Nelfs does, does not appear in a Paperbacks from Hell. Are you sure the book cover does? I'm sure the book cover must. Maybe. I'm pr I, I'm I would be about I'm about 85% sure. So I will say there is a 15% chance I'm wrong, but yeah, I mean, I'm just surprised, like, if either one of them read it, why they wouldn't have mentioned it, because it goes crazy, it goes ham. It goes ham, potatoes It goes around. Benedict, turned out mega tasty. I totally recommend trying them. Blender hollandaise sauce makes everything way easier. That sounds awesome. I just bought Nelfs, and I love the size and formatting of it. Luckily, they've released it in a new edition with the old cover, which is really great. Yes, that's so cool. Cemetery Press, right? Macabre Inc. Yes. Macabre. Cemetery. Yeah, Cemetery Press. Uh, I'm always getting oh. things mixed up. I was like, I better get this publisher right. I'm tired. I'm tired. Speaking of creepy toilet occurrences, The Legend of Zelda regularly has ghost hands that haunt toilets and ask for paper. They're meant to be quirky and humorous, but sounds a little bit creepy. More like butt with two T's. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But with two T's, but <laughs> or well, never mind. I was gonna say rump, but that doesn't work for butt. Like in that instance, <laughs> I'm adding Montauk Monster to my list. Next up is Thre Thresher. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, June's gonna be full of sea creatures and slashers for me, and other kind of monsties. Yeah. Why did I put up the toilet thing again? I don't know. I was like, toilets! Yeah. You're Mom. like, toilet! <laughs> toilets! I'm all about Bring, the toilets. Bring in the 12-year-old humor because it's old school April. Well, it would be appropriate, technically. We'd be getting in touch with our younger selves. Younger selves. Younger selves. I was going to tell you about something, and I forgot what it was. It's like... What was it? What if it's like the secret to the universe and you're just like, mm. it wasn't that important. Like it wasn't the secret of the yeah, universe or anything, be. but uh, I do think that tomorrow will be extra fun. So guys, just a heads up on the weekend plans, how everything is laying out this weekend. So tomorrow night, we're starting around the same time as we did tonight. So I would consider it like late night sprints again, but I'll be going longer because Paul and I, it's a drinking night. So after Cat leaves, I'll be going longer, and I'll be getting crunk, and it'll be unhinged. So just okay. heads up. I was actually literally going to ask you about that because I was like, "Well, do I?" Because I, I was like, "I'll go buy wine tomorrow then." Yeah, so we're definitely having like a crunk night tomorrow. So that's the plan. Sunday it'll be more of a chill, and I'll start earlier, like at two in the afternoon, and go like a very. Well, long I thought time. you weren't doing Sundays, but I thought Sunday was off for. Do you, you, you schedule things for yourself? I, I did just schedule it today, and I made the link today. So it's officially starting, I think, at 2 or 2.30. I can't remember. Uh, Central that's, time. That's pretty brave after doing a... You're like, we're going to go wild, then you like it the well, next day. So my plan is to wake up, because I'm going to play Tennis the Menace on the, the Discord. So I'm going to wake up, kind of chill a bit, 
but I'm probably gonna give myself some wiggle room, like, to, like, you know, feel better, be alive, you know, and then maybe play it at 11, and then that's, you know, still late enough to where I could relax a little bit. Nice. So, yes, Dennis the Menace on the Patreon, I mean, on the, I keep calling it Patreon, on the Discord on Sunday morning, then sprints. But la tomorrow night, if anyone's wanting to get reading done, we will read. We will have sprints, but will it be unhinged at times? Yes. Hell yes. <coughs> I just, just so you guys know. This has probably been the most hinged we've been in, like, many times. <laughs> probably only, like, two sprints or three sprints, right? What do you mean? We, we were kind of hinged the other day, right? I mean, like, a definitely little... not last night. I was like, last, last night, last night, night definitely no, not. no, last night went crazy. Like, um, <laughs> let's see, guys, last night I was talking about blowing people to hell, like, <laughs> <laughs> if they didn't have a good butt, but we were specifically talking about chickens, not people. <laughs> and I don't know why. I was specifically <laughs> talking said about chicken, chickens, not people. Ch chicken butts. And, I was, and then I remembered, oh shit. I don't want to offend chickens. <laughs> I don't so wanna Alicia wanna... made this. We were also talking about how we'd be in an old folks home, all the old school April hosts, we'd wind up together. And then, so it says, OSA home, no kids. I'll blow you straight to hell. <laughs> You don't have a good butt, I'm saying to the chicken. And I look so evil. I actually do. It's from one of my Stephen King chats with Cat for Pet Cemetery. It's I'm perfect. In, I'm also, in. we talked about how I'd meet Richard Lehman in heaven. <laughs> and he's like, I've been waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> he's been like, I've been creeping at people your whole life. But what it doesn't show is how, like, Andrew gets vanished and he goes down <laughs> towards hell and then I have to lasso him with like a rump lasso. Anyway, yeah, last I got unhinged, just say it. <laughs> rump lasso. Oh, lasso. It's so dumb. Uh... Oh my, the Korean word for fart is pronounced, I can't pronounce it. One of the first words my Korean grandmother taught me. That's Aww, so cool. That's cute. That is or cute. that's toot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that laugh you just did. <laughs> it's like my evil laugh. Oh, shark pick on the photo section. Let's go. Did you witness this in person? Was she fighting a oh, shark? Oh, she did. She saw it while she was snorkeling. Oh my god, that's cute. They look cute. They look friendly. They don't look mean. I'd be okay if they ate me, you know? Another wild night. I'm breaking out the apple cider. Woot, woot, woot. It seemed like another level of difficulty to add Andrew being lassoed <laughs> out of hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see how it is, Alicia. You're like, yeah, he's going down where he belongs. <laughs> you're not getting lassoed out. You're staying. Oh, you're that's staying. sad. <laughs> no, Alicia, your art picture was perfection. I like how I'm accusing the chicken. I'm like, you don't have a nice butt. Like Dean, like, who would who would be in charge of hell for me? Dean Koontz. It would oh be my like, god, yes. He'd be like, harsh me, Dean Koontz. <laughs> it, he'd be like, yeah, I've been waiting. You've been talking <laughs> trash about me. Your whole life, and now it's time for my comeuppance. There's a library, but all those in there is all Thomas bitch. And like, no. <laughs> be like, oh, remember Fun House? <laughs> like, yeah. A good movie, but we the shit book. Uh. And you'd be like, help! <laughs> I didn't really like the mask either. That's my one thing from him that I've read. Really, Demon Seed, I did enjoy, but that's because that's a very weird pervy book. But yeah, I remember your very detailed description of why you <laughs> liked it, and then Ali's. <laughs> discussion make, of why you liked it i think i remember too i can't you make me sound like a very weirdo when i say it's like a perfect book and like i remember you very oh, detailed no, no, like you had specific reasons for liking it like you were like oh this happens here and specifically and it's nothing like perverted at the time yeah so, oh, the time. Make it clear. oh the sharkies were cute only four feet long almost as long as me well, tall, babies. whatever, long, tall. Baby sharks. I'm 4'11". So they still had, they have another 11 inches to grow to catch up with me. 
<laughs> what was that like? That laugh was like you're like you're like oh yeah I can get all the rides but you can't sharks like you're like get out of here sharks where you're just like flip flip flip. <laughs> I really wish I could show it but I didn't really we're supposed to ask permission I told you about my coworker who's like six five or something oh yeah yeah we took a picture back to back like 007 it was so great i wish i could show it because everyone was joking about how i couldn't go on the rides at disneyland i was like i can go on the rides that laugh is too good you yeah. know it's a great it's i can't great even laugh. do it now and i lost it maybe if i laugh again i can do it <laughs> also i do this weird laugh where it's like vibrations it's weird it's like uh, 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 I can't, oh, I can't oh, do it right now. I don't know oh, if you've ever heard me do it yes, before. Yes, I have. I always think it was sarcastic. I didn't realize no, it was an actual laugh. That's like when I'm hardcore laughing. Like, I mean, I've never seen you do that before, and I'm like, all right, Kelsey, I get it. It was a bad joke. No. <laughs> no. Oh, we got another person in the Discord. We just reached 420. Oh. oh on our Discord. Should I leave a little? No, I'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, a little leave. This is a great. My laugh is usually silent or just nose breathing. <laughs> I can't do it. Well, I mean, I can breathe through my nose, but you. Never mind. You can't hear it. <laughs> Hence why Froggy says it's silent. Whatevs. <sighs> oh, I didn't tell you. When I showed Paul the picture last night, I did secretly film him. <laughs> Hold on. I just don't understand. What's I had to do it in sections because, like, it wouldn't let me show the picture and record at the same time. I was like, you bitch ass. <laughs> makes any sense that it would be funny. <laughs> That's just the one part. It makes any sense that it would be funny. <laughs> That's what my people think. Well, anyway, I was talking about the chicken butts, and I was like, "Do chickens even have butts?" Anyway, I said something like, <laughs> "Chicken turned around and didn't have a good butt. I blow it straight to hell, <laughs> like you know, with a gun." <laughs> Do you want to see the graphic or? Oh wait, yeah. Then more happened. After Isn't that. it amazing? It's one of my favorite graphics ever. It's funny that you're there. Oh <laughs> sure. You don't get it. I don't get the humor. I don't get your the whole thing with the butts and the rumps and all that. I don't get. Why it. it's funny? It makes no sense. Why not? Because it makes no sense. <laughs> it makes plenty of sense. Freaking rumps are funny as hell, especially chicken butts. <laughs> I'm not high. You know I'm not high. It's so ridiculous. It's so dumb. <laughs> and I just keep going on. Rumps is funny. Come here. I was like, come on, rubs and fun. He's like, I don't get it. I like how he's so flat. <laughs> like, do you want to see the graphic? Sure. <laughs> like, just flat. I'm the fun one, obviously. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, yes, it's funny that you're there. <laughs> like, you want to see the graphic? <laughs> sure. <laughs> It was so ridiculous. I was like, rumps are funny, especially chicken butts. Like, who says that? <laughs> rumps are funny. Do you think do you butt. think he secretly records it and then says it to his friends where he's like, my no. girlfriend's going on about chicken rumps again? He wouldn't be able to explain it. He'd be like, I don't know what she laughs at with her friends. And I'd be like, bitch, I don't know anything about sports either. So we're even now. I don't know how you talk about sports for four hours. We're even now. In terms of, like, we're evenly confused now <laughs> about each other and what we talk about with our friends. You talk about sports, I talk about rumps, you know, each to each their own. You know, you turn the other cheek. 
her or near the butt cheek. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so dumb. Oh, that was what my original joke was about. <laughs> Chicken butts is greater than sports. Yes. Duh. Yes, we are correct. We are right. I do like hockey, but chicken butts is still greater. <laughs> what ifs? <clears throat> I think that was our last sprinkle uh, because I am dying and I uh, do need to get up oh. early for those uh, cartoons. Oh yeah, don't don't forget, I did mention obviously Dennis the Menace on Sunday, but tomorrow during the morning we have cartoons. I will definitely make it for one of those. Probably not the one tomorrow though. <laughs> the one? Why did you drink? No, I just. <laughs> I just sleep in normally. <laughs> you should sleep in. I can't sleep in because these damn baseball kids. <laughs> They're freaking always playing next door and shooting off their music before 8, 8 a.m. Well, it was before 8.30 a.m. That's still bad. That's still unacceptable. I'd be like, this is unacceptable. Well, Paul did write that letter to the mayor and I've got to send it. But I haven't done it yet. I would just, I would just play the most annoying music. Like I would be, I would set a war. Like my war. You would can't be like... beat their annoying. Like their music isn't good at all. Like it's like that. There's this guy, I forgot his name, Travis or something or other. Like the country singer? No, it was like all auto tune. It was like da 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 da. But I don't even know what he was saying. Like we couldn't understand any of the words. It's like that's what they play, or just like bumping yeah. stuff, like bump, bump, bump. No words, bump, bump, bump. And I'm like, what's going on? Like, have I come this far in life to where I'm the cranky old person who has no taste? I was like, no, these kids have no taste. <laughs> literally did the Simpsons joke where you're like is, am I out of touch? No, it's the kids who are wrong. They are wrong. I, I will die on that hill as they say. So my my cartoons are at 9.30. Kelly's sprinting early at 6.30 central time a.m. My sprint, not sprints. My cartoons are starting from 9.30 a.m. central time to 10.30 a.m. central time. Yeah, so that's like 8.30 for me. So yeah, I'm usually like, ugh. Yeah, sleeping, so. bitch. I'm a Definitely night. don't go to cartoons the day of our all-night sleepover party, though. Why? Because then you'll be tired. <laughs> <laughs> You're, like, for, for the, you know, it's just yeah. a kind of a boring reason. I, but. I don't know, you made it sound like they were going to give us, like, a special, like, no age is allowed this Oh, time. actually, you can, well, it's still early for you, but I have that one scheduled because I know I'm going to stay up late that night. I have that one scheduled for 10.30 a.m. Which is still 9.30 a.m. for you, though. Yeah, it's like, it's there's a difference between, like, me being up and then me being sociable at all. <laughs> I can't be for coffee. I'm like, it doesn't work until 10, 10 a.m. But also, I think, let's see. Next, yeah, next weekend's 9.30 again. They're all 9.30 except for that last one. That's fine. I'll, 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 later. I'll be one of them. If I wake up, like if Loomis like jumps on my head tomorrow, it's like, <gasps> <laughs> if he jumps on my head specifically. <sighs> 9.30 a.m. Central Time to 10.30 and uh, I have to abruptly cut it off. I think I did it longer last weekend, but this weekend has to be condensed because my friend's coming over. Just abruptly cut it off in the middle I'm of like, a cartoon. Ah! Ah! In the middle of a cartoon. See ya. Yeah. I don't know why I keep doing this, but. And it'd be like a suspenseful cartoon, like where it's like they're about to solve like a mystery or something, and you're like, nah, bitch. In the middle of a Scooby Doo episode, for example, <laughs> yeah. you thought this was a real ghost? Oh, it's a man, but you don't know. <laughs> Because you're the one who said it's always man is the real monster. Man is the real monster. Man is the monster. Thank you, Froggy. Thank, Thank you for hanging out. So yes, Thank just a reminder, unhinged sprints tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. Just know that it's going to get cray-cray. Gonna be a See, I don't even sound normal saying it. Chicken butts never go out of style. We we got to chicken butts yesterday. <laughs> He's asking about chicken butter. I don't know what the hell. I, I don't butter. want chicken butter, but chicken butts. Chicken butt, butt, butt. Heck yeah. What's when the schedule? Oh yeah, I already answered that. Not 30 a.m. Central. Beware the blade. Don't worry, we're tiptoeing around it. 
literally. <laughs> what if it's somehow I get the blade? Like, oh, how did it come here? How did it get to Canada? <laughs> that would be so uh, weird and impossible. Oh, yeah, it was chicken butt, not butter. Autocorrect. Autocorrect, autocorrect. Beep, beep. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow morning for those of you attending the cartoons. And then if not, I may see some of you tomorrow night, and I will be excited to stand up and get crunk. But for now, sit down and go to sleep or do whatever. <laughs> sit and sleep. Good night. Toodaloo. Goodbye.